In this video, I am going to show you how you can track view content event for Synapsat Pixel using Google Tag Manager. Hi, you are welcome to this video. My name is Nasim and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork. I love to share my experience and teach people how to build digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date, then consider subscribing to this channel. I think you will never be disappointed. Let's drive in here. This is my website. It's a WordPress WooCommerce website and I already installed Synapsat Pixel using Google Tag Manager. Now I am going to check my tag and you can see the Synapsat Pixel tracking setup is already connected and it is a actually view content event and I am going to track it and now it's not working. So let's set it up. So first of all, go to preview mode and open the website. Just input your website URL and connect and then you will see the website is automatically open and we are on the preview mode and let's do the view content event and here it is it's a view content event and i am going to track it and here it is it's actually view item and in our data layer so we are going to make a trigger which is view item actually view item we can configure it's a view content so just we have to import our view item custom event here and my trigger is ready and now i have to make a tag for this event so i am going to tag and click on new and then i have to choose the snapshot pixel so i it's a template and i have to implement the pixel id i already made a constant variable and then i have to select the event name which is view content and then you can see here is the more couple of parameter that you can pass which is price and i am sending the price the category actually it's a product and item id uh, and currency i have made the variable uh, which is currency and just select it and custom uh, product id also made so that's why i want to pass this for actually the event parameter for this event so and select the trigger and then save it you can choose any name here i just uh, give the actual view item name which is page view and then check it out so go on the preview mode again and then see it will work or not and your and website is opening and see here uh, it's connected and now i am going to check on the view item event uh, my tag is not fired yet so it's a view content event and let's check the tag uh, it's fired and one more uh, option that i can check uh, which is the extension and all the parameter also working and uh, sending for snapshot pixel and this is the extension and you can see here the two event is coming and this one is a view content event so that's mean it's working fine and also you can see here is the hidden information and all the information are going like a hash so that's mean it's working fine if you don't understand any part of this video or if you have any suggestion, please do comment. I will really appreciate it. And if you need my service that I am providing as a freelancer, feel free to contact me. I would love to work with you. Please visit my website. So that's all for today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give thumbs up because it helps me to working on this channel. And if you want to stay up to date, then hit the subscribe button. I think you will never be disappointed. My name is Nasim and I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye. Have a good day.